Swing it, Daddy. Hi everybody, and welcome to the first episode of uh, Monthly Mouthfuls. Shut up. Monthly Mouthfuls, that's right. Uh, episode 1, I'm Berlin Reed. I might do more of these on, on Foodie Beauty or other messes, Jimmy Bunker, anybody you can think of. I don't know, but this has been on the list for quite a while, where you take a month's worth of content from, from somebody and then talk about it. Because I used, I used to react to, to Amber's single videos. Like Geordie does, Zachary, uh, Apathetic Facts. I can't do that anymore. I'm not as good as those people. So we're going to take a month's worth of, of her content and, and discuss it here. That's the plan. Yes. I'm currently listening to a podcast. The first interesting thing that happens is Amber mentioning the H3H3 podcast. Now, she's dying to be on the show. I don't think that would be a great idea for her because should be seen by a bigger audience. So she wouldn't be known just as the girl who ordered the wrong sandwich. <gasps> they gave me the wrong sandwich. Oh no. Well, here we go. She'd be seen by a bigger audience who see her as more than that. They'd see her as the girl who's done lots of uh, less funny things than ordering the wrong sandwich. R-A-P-E, rain and petals eavesdrop. I used the wrong word. Next we see Amber showing us that huge vocabulary she's got. Okay guys, so I forgot to tell you guys this. As you guys know, I have been looking for the... <laughs> you guys. See, I don't think she reads as many books as she claims. I'm trying to like find the notes for you guys. So I'm like a professional like perfume trier tester on her person, but I'm not, so I can't find the notes. The next day, Emma gives us a, a tour of her fridge and there's nothing in there, which says she's ordering takeout again. Now this is uploaded on January, the beginning of January, so you know what it means. It means time for some New Year's goals. I kind of actually wanted to talk a little bit about like my goals for 2024. I have a lot of like personal ones that I'm not going to share online, obviously. Now she said she had some personal goals there that she didn't want to share, but luckily for you guys, me and Amber are best buds. And she's actually sent me her list of personal goals this year. Uh, what have we got so far? We've got obsess over ex-wifey. That's a pretty good one. Make hair and nails her entire personality. So that'll be tough to pull off. Uh, lust over Jimmy Bunker. I forgot I wrote that one. Take one shower in 2024. So that would be one more than last year. Um, <laughs> no, obviously not. Me and Amber aren't best buds. But I think, I think she can do those ones. The real goals are she wanted to upload every other day. Spoilers. Jumping ahead. She doesn't. She wants to weigh in every day. Um... Spoilers again, obviously uh, she doesn't. She wants to get a therapist in January or, or February. She doesn't. Joking aside, there was genuinely one goal uh, which interested me. Another goal I have is to work on my poetry book. So I really, really want to publish a poetry book for you guys. I know that's wild. I know that's crazy. Actually already started working on it. I think that's really good. I'll, if you've watched me before, you'll know I love anything creative. Publishing poetry, I think that's really interesting. I don't get poetry, I'm not really good at it. Thankfully, she's already shared one poem online this year. Uh, it wasn't easy to find, but it's called Struggling with Struggling. So let's have a read. 2024 will be the year for me and my goals, just as long as I don't get scared by any tiny, tiny holes. She's obviously got a very serious phobia of um, holes. That isn't just a meme. Uh, it's a disorder I struggle with, a disorder that is very rare. Uh, oh look everyone, I have washed my hair. I didn't lie, I really did shower. Being an empath really is my superpower. So it's good because this is true. I miss Feline, I want her back. I want to feel her sweaty thighs as we make love in the sack. I could have found anything around with back, I, I played it safe. I'm really kind, I'm really sweet. I want Feline back. Let's just hope she never sees my feet. Very, very well written poem by Amber there, uh, and I can't wait to read the rest of the, the published uh, book. Another goal 
is uh, obviously weight related. I want to lose 100 pounds in 2024, at least 100 pounds, but 100 is my goal. If she did manage to lose 100 pounds, she would be at her lowest weight since she was with Crystal, and we call that her fighting weight. We'll get that in a second. Amber used to have real characters to bounce off. She used to have Beck, Destiny, other characters she could play off. Now, she's having to literally make up characters. Like, I'm gonna do a reenactment of a literal situation that happens more times than it should. Do to do, gotta go pee. <gasps> oh my god, wait, what if? Next, Emma shows off her lovely cardigan. So this is a simple outfit of the day. I'm wearing my Barbie cardigan, which I love. All jokes aside, I really, really like it. I, I kind of wish I had that one. Maybe, maybe if I wish really hard, I can get it. I'm not pooping, I'm wishing. <laughs> Oh my, it worked. I've got Amber's lovely pink cardigan. Actually, I ordered it off Amazon about a week ago and it's not really a cardigan. A little bit annoyed by that. But at least I've got an excuse to use it now, so. Okay, so I wanna show you the board games I'm actually bringing to my grandmas. Okay, so I'm bringing the voting game, which is one of my favorites. So you pull out a random card and it says things like, whose Google search history would you like to see the most? And then you hand the person the card. Actually, I've got Amber's search history uh, right here. So let's take a look. We've got um, how to my nipple ate the audience. It's a good one. How to spell my nipple ate. Uh, other words for rip. Uh, how to say the word co-host. How to win your ex back. And finally, is Mr. Snowflake single? Uh, and that's none of your business. I'm taken by foodie beauty. Next, we see Amber celebrating her birthday in styles. On the Z. Amber blowing. Blowing. <laughs> uh oh. I didn't want to like spit on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Wait, what? <laughs> There's thirty-three dollars in there. Wait, but oh, thank you. I don't want to pop it. So <laughs> now at the beginning of uh, Amber's January, the first video, she told us the number three was very important. She didn't say why, just was, for reasons. And she's turned 33, really big deal for her and her family. So I'm guessing lots of friends and lots of family must have showed up for that really important birthday. You guys, I genuinely had such an amazing day today with my grandma, my mom, and my grandma's best friend was actually there as well. Oh, never mind. You know it's bad when you've got to get your grandmother's best friend to pad the numbers out. I'm surprised Emma didn't say, uh, yeah, Twinkie was also in attendance, uh, Gracie, uh, not Gracie, sorry, <laughs> no, not Gracie, well, maybe Gracie in spirit, oh, and all the friends she went bowling with that time. And then Amber ends her vlog by spreading her wise words for the year. And just every day, just remember to be a little bit kinder, and I just think the world would be a lot more peaceful. So the woman who allegedly I have to say that. So the, so the woman who allegedly hit Crystal once or twice. The woman who was making Beck put up furniture right after her mother had died. The woman who accused somebody of rape and then said, well, actually, it wasn't exactly rape. That person just said, to you lot, be a bit nicer. I'm going to start the next video by telling us the truth for once. It's not okay to be this dumb. The do say admitting it is the first step, so very good. She then shows us a before and after. 500 pounds, and yep, still 500 pounds. She then gets some special cleaning stuff to clean her fupa. And my new favorite cleaner ever, Clorox. All purpose cleaner, which I'm sure everyone and their mom knows all about it. No, obviously not. She wasn't buying stuff to clean her fupa. Uh, but she was in a bit of a rush because she was heading out to see all of her friends again. I don't really have that much time because I'm actually about to go out to dinner with my mom and her boyfriend. Then Amber decided that even though she wanted to lose 100 pounds this year, she would get some takeout. Jack in a box, taste test. Whenever I hear taste test from these overweight mugbaggers, I think you big liar. Cause taste test, isn't it like on Good Mythical Morning? 
where they'll do a taste test of chocolate from around the world and try and guess where it's from or something like that. It's a taste test. Mm, and then you discuss it. You don't just say a taste test and then shovel in loads of takeout. Mmm. Look at that. Wow, this is so unhealthy. So whenever any of these say a taste test, acting like they're doing it for the job. I'm doing a taste test. Uh, I'm a YouTuber. I'm a mukbanger. I'm doing a taste test for work. Oh, you ordered all this food for work? Yeah. Yeah, it's for work. Anyway, she hangs out with all of her friends again. Cheers and Happy New Year's. Spending it alone with y'all. I did not spend New Year's with Amber. I actually spent it with people I love. Amber spent New Year's drunk, eating takeout, alone. So don't include me in your little pity party. I wasn't there. Anyway, Amber was gonna clean the apartment, but then she remembered something. Did you guys know that it's like bad luck to clean on the 31st of December? She's over 500 pounds. She has no friends who aren't imaginary ones that live in the shower. People despise her, rightfully so. I think Amber's had all the bad luck she can. Just clean your apartment. She then weighs in for us for the first time this year and she weighed, check my notes, uh, subtly 515.8 pounds. And if you've been watching Amber for a long time, you'll know that's 150 pounds-ish above where she first started when she was weighing in and back in 2013 for us. Or if you're as deluded as she is, she's 50 pounds lighter uh, than she was at a highest weight, something like that anyway. Next, she shows off a little of her OCD. OCD. Don't you guys find it so satisfying that January 1st falls on a Monday? Like that is so satisfying for me because it's like the beginning of a week, beginning of a new year. All right, so I was 515.8. I didn't realize that OCD was contagious, but she did catch hers off crystal, didn't she? I'm very bitchy in these, sorry. Amber then shows off her latest Lego. I actually quite liked it. I've got nothing horrible to say. I, I really like the uh, the Lego set. And I've seen the, the Lego set that she's getting next. Is that too dark? Nah, be fine. I'll leave it in. Amber kicks off her latest weight loss journey by gaining weight. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, wow, so Amber Lynn coded, of course she's gonna gain weight at the beginning of the new year. Amber then explains why her teeth are a mess. And then this is just like to help if you put a piece in like the wrong spot or something. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of a savage, so I just use my teeth. She uses her teeth instead of the little Lego-y thing. Her teeth are in such a terrible state, but at least when they all fall out, uh, she can get some Lego dentures. <coughs> she then told us how TLC, the, the channel TLC, wanted to get her on some shows, but she wasn't big enough. Then she told us she was missing a certain somebody, not me. I don't know what it is, but I've been thinking so much of my ex lately. <sighs> I broke no contact, by the way. Um, Yeah, it happened. So the last time I actually messaged her was November 1st, and I told myself, don't do it again. But January 2nd, after like a couple weeks of just like, literally I can't stop thinking about her, like I hope she's okay. I ended up texting her and I still haven't gotten a response. She messaged Feline and got no reply. I think the no reply is, is the reply, leave me alone. But I don't get it because the breakup was mutual according to Amber. I am a bitch in these. Uh, the, the breakup was mutual, so I don't know why Feline wouldn't reply. No, obviously it wasn't mutual, Amber was awful, Feline ended it, done. Get used to this. Uh, Amber wasn't done talking about Feline. I have a lot of scrapbooking stuff, but it does remind me of my ex because we would do it together. And a lot of you are like, oh my God, why'd you message her? Like, why'd you do that? Like, what'd you say? Like, that relationship must have been horrible because of, like, no. Like, I've tried to explain to you guys. I hurt her after the breakup by choosing someone else over her. That was my best friend. That was someone that, <laughs> every time I talk about her, I just want to cry. So let's not do that. Amber can do as many mental gymnastics as she likes. Don't know how to do mental gymnastics. Amber can do as many mental gymnastics as she likes, but Feline's just not interested anymore. Oh, I almost felt sympathy there. Oh, I oh, it almost got me. In Amber's next vlog, vlog, 
she uh, she mentions the HV podcast again. So I am currently working on my Astro Boy while watching H3 podcast. Again, I don't really know the HV podcast. I've never seen them. I don't know if they get guests on like Amber. I don't know if they ask like real questions, not just one she's made up for herself on her Q&As. What's your favorite color? What does your fupa smell like? Uh, throw myself ask doing that. I, I, honestly, I genuinely hope she gets on the HV podcast and I hope What's he called? Is it Ethan Klein? It's not, is it? Whatever he's called, I hope he asks real questions like, why were you talking about sex in front of a child? There is scissoring, which I'm sure you guys know what that is. <laughs> there, you can finger, uh, rub the clitoris. She's gonna explain. Okay. What is tribbing? Isn't it mad? A woman, I'm taught that way in front of a kid, still has fans. What are you doing? Be fans of somebody else, Jimmy. Be a fan of Jimmy. He needs it. That's it. That's it for this vlog. I thought I must have deleted some of my notes, but I haven't. That's it. A lot of these videos, nothing nothing happens. I think she needs some more side characters than grandmother's best friend and person in shower. Get some mates. Hello. Oh, fuck. Where are this down to the door? My subway has turned up. Where are there? I took, me, I took me cardigan off to get me get me order. I forgot I left me um oh can I show you? I forgot I left me Superman socks on. Which is fine, but the ones with a little cape on. So <laughs> you notice them. I got a little look. Oh I'll take the cardigan off. I don't wanna I don't want to think I'm a big silly man. Oh me Superman socks! I need to put this back on. I'll have that sandwich after I've done this. I think I'm putting too much pressure on myself because it's like, I haven't been able to walk a mile, I don't know, over a decade. So like, why do I think I can do it now? I don't know. I have some crosswalk moments. Okay, so I've done a quarter of a mile so far. I'm doing pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Twinkie is just having the time of her life. We walked up the hill, didn't we baby girl? Proof is in the pudding. We are now walking down the hill. I will say walking is kind of boring say other than we did it and I think we were about 10 minutes away from home and I started crying. The fact that I could do it just makes me so happy and just goes to show that like I've improved so much and now I'm going to drink this Gatorade. Hold on. The, the mile she walked uh, when I was watching that I realized and everybody else has probably realized that she doesn't walk Twinkie because she was amazed she did a mile. She was amazed at half a mile, a quarter of a mile, I think she said as well. She was, I'm out of breath now, running down the stairs. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm getting tech out, I'm out of breath going up the stairs, oh no. My breathing is really bad today. But yeah, she was amazed with herself when she, when she did a quarter of a mile. And I thought, oh, Twinkie doesn't get walked even a quarter of a mile a day. I know there's those conspiracy theorists who think that I actually didn't do the walk. I saw a comment where someone's like, all you did was like swing your phone around. Don't work that way. I might call people conspiracy theorists all she likes, but if you lie in every video for 10 years, people are gonna question you. So she can be as smug as she likes on that smug high horse, but uh, what'd you expect? Conspiracy, didn't, didn't she think Stevie Wonder wasn't blind? I thoroughly believe that Stevie Wonder is not blind. I think she probably did do the mile. I wouldn't be surprised if it turned out it was a lie, but I, I think she probably did it, yeah. Maybe she did a, a foodie beauty and just rolled down a hill for a mile. 509.6 pounds. <gasps> 509.6! <gasps> <gasps> Yay! We're out of the 510s. Now we're in the single digits. All right, 509.6. So now Amber was losing weight every time she was on track. And when she wasn't on track, she was gaining weight. Now she said in the past, it's, she has to try five times harder or something silly like that because of a, a lipedema, lymphedema. She doesn't lose weight the same as everybody else. But it turns out she does. So all she has to do is, is try. At this point in Amber's uh, videos, there was a lot of weight loss talk. She was, she was letting us know about her weight all the time. And surprisingly, it, it was the dullest stuff because I know she says she's more than just a weight and every time she does something that isn't a weight, it's pretty boring. But even the weight loss stuff, I was zoning out. I was looking at my phone. I wasn't paying attention. I was, I was having to go back to see if I missed anything because it's just somebody losing and gaining the same 30, 40, whatever pounds. So even the weight loss stuff, 
has bored me, that's it for that video. In our next vlog, I'm trying not to do the air quotes again. In our next vlog, she highlighted for me one of the major problems with our channel. See, now if this was... I haven't got any friends, have I? I'm like Amber. I've got one, I've got Jimmy. If this was Jimmy, he'd be showing you things. Merge. He'd be showing you things, he'd be saying something funny about it, he'd be saying something interesting about it, he'd, he'd be saying... <coughs> I'd have a drink, but there's nothing in, it's literally just to show the merge. If it was Jimmy, he'd be saying funny things or interesting things. Something, but when it's Amber, she literally just goes... That's it? There's, n there's nothing, but it's... And I, and I don't get why she doesn't tell us something about it because she's got 140 IQ, so she should be using it. Am I right, bitch? Um, how does it feel having a bigger BMI than IQ? Even without the lies and all the horrible stuff she's done over the last 10 years, even if she just came in fresh out the shower, uh, even if she just came in fresh and this was a channel, I don't think it would do very well because there's nothing. She's not a good YouTuber. I'm not a very good YouTuber. Love that. And on the rare occasions, she does try and be funny. She's not. So I saw this icon cinema and I was like, what is that? Is that where all Amberlynn Reed's videos are performed? Get it? Haha. -ha. I think how can, how could, how could you fix Amber's channel? Could you give it structure? Could you do, I don't think there's anything you can do. I think she just hasn't got the personality. She's not really likable. And she just, there's just nothing there. Maybe, maybe an ex-girlfriend she gets can be interesting and she can pinch those traits. Oh, Amber's really interesting. Well, her girlfriend's interesting now. Oh, Amber's girlfriend lives in the Middle East. Oh, maybe she'll hop over and become a Muslim. That's been done before though, hasn't it? Simpsons did it. The next, she did something that surprised me. What was it? Oh, nudes. Oh, yeah. What are your thoughts on sending nudes? So honestly, that is something that um, I low-key do. But I only do it if I'm really connected with someone, we're really into each other, I trust them, and they have to like ask for it because I'm, I, sorry, but unsolicited, no. But if you two are vibing and they're like, hey, you wanna send over like a, a titty pic? <laughs> you have to be really special because I don't just be sending those out to anybody. Like you have to be a special girly pop, okay? But I don't see anything wrong with it. Like if two people are into each other, go for it. Now this surprised me a lot because it just came up after the groundbreaking interview uh, me, and, me and Casey did. She wanted a spicy picture. She was asking me about this for, for, a, couple, for a couple weeks. And I was like, I'm not, I'm not comfortable. I'm not comfortable, I'm not comfortable. And I was 15, again, I was 15, 17. But, you know, I, she said, you know, if you don't do that, I, you know, I'm gonna be mad, I'm gonna break up with you. I don't wanna lose the only person who's actually attracted to me. Yeah. And yeah. I I did it. Yeah. So according to Casey, Amber allegedly pressured Casey into sending nudes when Casey was fifteen. Amber was seventeen, Casey was fifteen. It's still illegal. You can't do that. You can't have child P. You can't have it, doesn't matter if you if you're an adult or not. Amber can't be in possession of child P, which if you believe Casey Amber had. Can't do that. Anyway, it did feel like she brought this up as a response to that interview, because it was it was straight away after that, after the interview. And I think she did bring it up to say, hey, nudes aren't a big deal. Well, they are when it's kids, uh, Amber. Anyway, Amber wasn't done there being, being odd. So the last question I'm gonna do is, how do you feel about Becky talking about you again? So honestly, I find it a little weird, only because she was the one who initially said, keep my name out your mouth or the law is gonna get involved. And then I think it was a few months later, I brought up the law just to remind her that that was initially what she wanted. It was my way of agreeing, but like now she's talking about me. I don't know. Share your story, share your truth, share what you think is your truth. I, I don't know what else to say about it at this point because I'm just not really into this whole Let's talk shit about our ex for money. I I personally am not going to be doing it. As I'm editing this video, she's literally just uploaded a new video. Where are we? April something? Titled, How I Feel About My Exes. 
She finds it weird. Did she say that? She did. She finds it weird talking about her exes. I've never seen anybody so nuts. She's not shut up about Beck since they broke up. She even blamed her for the cancer. She's never shut up about Beck. And she's not on. And she's talking about Beck here. <laughs> the comments, uh, I noticed, are spot on. And the comments are usually better than the video. Um, but the comments get it spot on. Share what you think is your truth is one of the most gaslighty sentences I've ever heard. I didn't spot that yet. That's bang on. Please don't take the moral high ground above the person you financially manipulated into wiping you down. Again, spot on. Talking about your exes constantly when you have no relationship with them is pretty odd. See, that I didn't realise it's starting to become normal, this, this Amber world. Talking about your exes so much when you don't even speak to them. That is odd. Well, I suppose I talk about Jimmy a lot. My ex. I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait, I'm starving. I'm bulking, I've got a, a meatball sub. I'm doing a taste test. And then, <laughs> God. And then what, what did I get? A, a Philly cheese steak thing. Oh, wait. They've given us the wrong sandwich. I ordered, what did she order? I ordered vegetables. They've given me <laughs> wow. Oh, you guys, I'm really disappointed. I guess I'll try it. Mm. Where's my apple? And in other news, still no cause of death found for elementary school teacher Diane Chokesonde. Hello, love, it's me, from whatever you say. I've decided to move back to Canada where I've opened a pub. I'm only going to be selling fucking lager and maybe fucking cider. <laughs> you guys, I really don't want to come on here and do this, but uh, admitting that I am currently depressed for some reason is hard for me. And I don't know why. Like, I have no reason to be depressed other than mental illness. If I was 500 plus pounds and didn't leave the house and had no friends, I have got friends now, but if I was a normal person who wanted friends and I couldn't have friends and none of my family liked me apart from me, mum and grandma, and I couldn't drive anywhere, I had chemicals all day, I'd, I'd be depressed as well. It's no great mystery. I'd be miserable as well. And I don't want to be mean, but if she just tried to improve her mind as well as her body, but if she tried to improve her mind, that would really help. Because when I hear her say stuff like this. And I could guess who the killer was. And I could guess who the killer was. It's tempting to think she just misspoke. Like I've no doubt throughout this, I've said something wrong. Oh, I've had to cut stuff because I've said something wrong. Everybody does. But the way she fumbles the English language in every other sentence, it, it... I am genuinely feeling a million times better. I actually just posted a couple TikToks and one of them, I do edit Tammy Slayton. Yeah, she's all better now because she made a... St she's all better now because she made a TikTok video dancing and she, and she got nice comments because people on TikTok don't know she accused someone of rape. So she's made a TikTok. She's got lots of nice attention. She feels better now. Now this vlog, this vlog uh, is actually pretty interesting. First off, we see Amber in a bra. Right now I'm currently just trying to find something to wear. That's not the interesting part, by the way. I'm not, <laughs> that wasn't the interesting part. She tells us about her, her real friends, not the imaginary ones. I do have two friends, very dear, dear friends to me. Um, they're actually coming to visit me. See, nobody believed that she had friends staying. I think I'm the only one who believed that. I still believe it, I think. But yeah, nobody believed it but me. Finds a pen so I can write mug. Oh, yes, that in the notes. Uh, she says she hasn't got the friends coming for another week. Remember that for the next video. I'll show this clip. 
Hello, me in the future. Next, we see another amazing transformation. And still a cut. And then to end the vlog, the most interesting part, she shows just how detached from reality she is. Someone sent me a picture of someone seeing me at the laundromat and like taking a picture and posting it online. I love when you guys come up to me and want to take a picture with me. You guys are always like literally so amazing, but it's always the people who take a photo of me without coming up to me. Those are the ones that are always like the haters, I think. She's unhappy that a member of the public took a photo of her and put it online without her permission. Now you know where I'm going with this. Crystal, she filmed Crystal on the toilet. Was it like three times? And there was one where she had she had that edited out because she was shown Crystal's lower half. And how many times did Crystal say, stop filming, stop filming? And now she doesn't like it when somebody takes a photo of her and puts it online. She can fuck. Y'all, seeing that photo was also like, ugh. It was kind of hard for me to see because it's like, it's not, an angle that I see of myself, like if ever. She's just mad because she couldn't control how she actually looks in that photo. Oh yeah, she couldn't do that. And the last video of January, we made it, we got to the end. The last video of January, she shows, she shows us some more footage from the laundromat. She sells seashells by the seashell. So what you guys are currently looking at is someone walking insanely close to me, like an inch away from me, filming my butt. I feel very unsafe when I see that. I know some people were saying, uh, why does she feel unsafe? As if anyone's gonna be able to kidnap her. I wouldn't say that, but people said that. So take me out of the picture, take me out of the situation, take out your bias. Take out your bias. I know what she means to say, she always gets it close. Take out your bias. She reminds me of somebody who's learned English, who speaks it pretty well. Sorry, speaks it pretty good. But she, you, you know what she's trying to say, but she, she, she gets, she, she's close enough, she's close enough. Would you go back on Ozempic? So that is an easy yes, 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 yes. I totally would. I thought Ozempic caused problems with gallstones, unless Amber lied. But Ozempic is over a thousand dollars a month. Uh, and I'm sure, I'm sure she spent uh, $1,000 a month on Ozempic before when she was with Wifey. But the, the the channel, the views are going down, so maybe she can't afford that anymore. Although she stopped buying Lego, maybe, maybe she would. And that's the 11 videos that Amber uploaded in January. Like I said at the beginning of the, uh, the video, I used to react now and again to, to her single videos, but I, ju I just can't do it anymore. I don't know how the, the reaction channels do it. They're better than me. But I don't know how you, I don't know how they do it anymore because she's just gotten so um, so dull. That's it. Thanks for watching. I, I hope this kept you company for half an hour or, or however long it was. Sorry, I got a food delivery in the middle of that. I'm, I'm very sorry. Um, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was all right. If it is, if it does all right, I'll I'll do uh, where we do February. We do February of Amber. Here we do. Uh, I always forget her name. What's her name? Foodie beauty. She keeps changing, I keep forgetting. But maybe we can do other people, I don't know, we'll see. See how this one does anyway. Thanks for watching, hopefully it was silly enough for you, and I'll see you in the next one, maybe. Bye, bye everybody.